Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to find the collections where people are making the most profits and I'm going to show you how to analyze the wallets of the flippers so you actually learn from the professionals. Alright, I have shown you about the flips page but we have made some significant improvements on this page including the hodling filter and I think that's a game changer as you will see why in a couple of minutes. Alright, so when you first open this page, it shows you what's going on on OpenSea. For instance, this collection just got revealed, so people are taking some profits for the better ranks. Uh, however, even though it shows you a brief overview of what's going on on OpenSea, uh, it, it's not good enough on its own. And I'm going to be using the filters to make the page to serve my purposes. I'm going to pick a period of seven days, so it shows me all the flips that happened on OpenSea in the last seven days, and I'm going to sort the results according to the profitability. All right, so here you see there's a huge flip. Uh, the person made 73 Ethereum. However, this is not really a flip. This is more of a conviction because he held on to his NFT for a year. What I'm interested is in more about finding flips where the seller held the NFT for only a couple of days, maybe up to a week or two, but not for a year, for sure. For that purpose, I'm going to be using the hodling filter, and I'm going to tell the system to filter out the results where the NFT was resolved within seven days. All right, so I'm going to apply the filters. Here you see all these flips were made within seven days some of them are even faster for instance this one happened only in 37 minutes person but the person bought the nft for seven ethereum resold it for 21 ethereum let's go to OpenSea to verify verify our data here so you can actually see the uh sales if you filter them all right so you see three days ago at 5 15 it was sold for 7 Ethereum and at 5.52 exactly in within 37 minutes it was sold again for 21 Ethereum. So I still suggest you make a research on the collections here but it's going to show you uh, what's going on on OpenSea and it's according to your criteria. And I believe this is a flip of mine and I'm actually pretty sure I had bought this NFT for 130 and I sold it for 4.33 in three days. So I spent a lot of time on this page every day in order to learn about the collections. Believe it or not, but I memorized all the, not all the, but most of the trades these collections have, at least the valuable ones. For instance, for Neolinks, uh, the crown trade or the black crown trade is very... Uh, in demand and there is also two other clothing trades that people are after this is a one one the legendary one however if you go to the collections uh, on page and if you type crown uh, you see they have high floor prices i'm not trying to show off i actually learn about this by using this page i also found about anthony hopkins collections on this page there were some profits I learned about the collection, I found about the revealing time, and then I made my snipe. And actually, on this very collection on Neolinks, I think I made a couple of flips too. I don't know if in these wallets, but yeah, on these particular trades. So, uh, I'm going to actually show you one more thing before uh, jumping into analyzing wallets. Uh, if you are into bidding, you can press on this button, the VAT button, uh, to tell the system to filter out the results where the purchases were made with uh, wrapped Ethereum, in other words, with bits, and then uh, sold for a profit. You can see, I mean, there is a lot of things to analyze here. It's to your liking of which collection that you will be analyzing, but it is extremely, extremely uh, important. This is where I find 90% of uh, all the info I need for bidding. For instance, this one was bought for one. I, I know about this collection, obviously. I know about this trade too, and this one too. I bet this is a head trade. Let's check. Here, you see, position head. This is the horns uh, for uh, Genie and that, obviously. Which is in the one. Actually, th the flip was made by an NFT net user, Beetlejuice. So, for instance, let's check the profitability. He bought it for 119, sold it for 2.49. Uh, 
So he didn't pay gas fee. Almost 2000 bucks. Uh, 1700 bucks. This is our extension, by the way. You can download it. It's in the video description. Yeah. Anyway, this is how I learn about uh, collections. You know what? Let's actually analyze the wallet of uh, Beetlejuice 2. So let's. Uh, he has multiple accounts. I think like four. And I also let's analyze. Uh, I'm going to. You know what? Let's just click on wallet analyze here. The system is going to bring out your own wallets, or but you can uh, paste any wallet here, or you can click on the button just like I did to see the flippers wallet. So here you can see all the successful or unsuccessful uh, trades Beetlejuice has done on this account. So there was a Kitaro trade, uh, Goblin Town trades. He made some good money on this one. As you see, he focused on some certain collections. Actually, look, oh man, this is, this is a good one. He made almost three Ethereum on this Murakami flowers. So obviously, I can tell that this uh, person, Beetlejuice, uh, he's in our Discord. Actually, he's active in the profit sharing channel lately. You can ask him uh, questions. I don't know if he'll reply, but you can try. He's focusing on Goblin Town, Genie and that. Uh, obviously and at some point he focused on Murakami flowers it seems and let's go to my own wallet to see what I had done mm, I made 34 flips 16 of were losing I spent total spent uh, 27 ethereum and I made a profit of uh, almost 9 ethereum on this account so you see actually after I made this uh, snipe I stuck to this collection for a while and I made the flips with bits here. You see the gas I paid is zero, zero, zero. It means that the purchase was made uh, via an offer because when you make a purchase with an offer or when your offer gets accepted, the seller buys the gas fee. So that's how you know it's made by an offer. And you know, this was a scam collection. I didn't do my research and I lost more than two Ethereum, you see don't do this and you see uh, I talked about the hat trade in label hat and then actually you can go back to the pages actually I have five pages of flips you can go back you see I have made a lot of uh, genie and the undead uh, flips not bad right this is this was when the collection was picking up and then it actually picked up and you see let's let's actually go on yeah let's analyze them actually I can sort them to the according to profits you see i made 2.33 here on this one i on this crypto smeji i made almost two ethereum this is how you analyze the wallets of the uh, flippers so you can analyze by wallets see which collections i am able to make money on and which collections i am not able to make money on or even lose money it will give you a brief idea obviously like flippers or bidders like me they have many or multiple wallets uh, and then so sometimes they transfer NFTs in between wallets. But even then, uh, it is going to give you a very good idea of what the flippers are doing. You see, this, like, it's, it was, it's obvious that I worked on Kampei Pandas uh, for a while. And, you know, this is not the only wallet actually I was bidding. I made, like, even better trades on aliens and, you know, whatsoever. Anyway... Uh, I wanted to actually keep this video short. It is longer than I expected. Uh, but yeah, this is how I analyze flips and wallets. I also wanted to make this video because I have some tickets where people are, are asking me to send them some wallets to analyze. It's like it's all here. Like if I am sending you stuff, I'm just going to come here, uh, pick some wallets and send it to you. So you should do this on your own to understand the mentality of how the analyzing on Philips would work. All right. Have a good one, guys. Uh, happy trades and happy Philips.